All right then, so next up, we're gonna animate this toast right here. So that's this message at the top of the screen. So first of all, notice I've deleted the div from the last tutorial with that transition and all of the transition classes for that div at the bottom. So we've got a blank canvas now. So the first thing we need to do is surround this toast with a transition component. So let's do that transition like so. And then at the end, we'll do our closing tag. And then we'll give this a name. And when it comes to naming your transitions, a lot of people will be descriptive of the type of transition. Like we've used fade and that describes the animation because we're fading in and out. But if you're doing several things, it might become a little bit hard to name them this way. And so when that's the case and the transition is very unique and only applies to one certain element, you might not reuse it. I'll call it something like toast, which describes what we're using it on, okay? But a lot of the time you'll see things like this, slide hyphen fade or something, but it's up to you. It really doesn't matter what you call them. So I'm gonna call it toast in this case. So now we need to create the classes for this transition. So let's do that at the bottom. So first of all, we'll do the enter classes like so, and that is gonna be toast hyphen enter hyphen from, and then also toast hyphen enter hyphen to, and then finally toast hyphen enter hyphen active, like so. Okay, this should be toast, not roast. Okay, so where do we want to transition from? Well, again, I wanna fade this in, so the opacity is gonna be zero to begin with, but also I want to drop this in from outside of the screen and it falls down. So in that case, we need to set an initial property which is gonna bring it up off the screen. And to do that, we'll use a transform. And that is gonna be translate in the Y direction, which is up and down, and it's gonna be minus 60 pixels. And that's basically gonna lift it up off the screen. So it starts 60 pixels above the screen to begin with. Then toast enter two. So we'll say opacity is gonna be one for this and then we'll say transform and we want to bring this oops let me just spell transform first of all we want to bring this back down to zero so translate y and zero so that means basically it's default position on the page so we're bringing it from above the screen down to its default position on the page and we're also fading it in now we need to control this transition using the active class so we'll say transition and we're going to transition all properties because we have multiple ones and we'll say take 0.3 seconds and I want to ease in. So it's quite a quick transition. So if we save this now and preview, then we get some kind of error. Let me just see what that error is. We'll go over to the console. So let's click on this, go to console, scroll up and it says show P is not defined. So I need to get rid of that because that was from the last tutorial. Let me save this again and preview. Let me refresh. Okay, so now if we try to add a to-do which is blank, this now fades in and it comes down from the top, which is quite nice. Cool. So that is the enter classes. Now let's do an animation for when it disappears because at the minute when it disappears, it just poofs off the page, no animation at all. So let's now do those classes. So a comment again, first of all, and we'll say leave classes. And first of all, we need toast hyphen leave hyphen from. And then under that, we'll do toast hyphen leave hyphen to, which is where it's gonna end up. And then finally, toast hyphen leave hyphen active. Okay, so we want to leave from these things right here. Opacity one and a transform, which is basically saying use the original position. So let me paste those in, and then we're gonna leave two the same things as these. So we're gonna fade out to a opacity of zero and bring it back up off the screen. So let me paste those in here, and then leave active is gonna be the same as this. So let me copy this and paste it in right here. I'm gonna save that and preview this again. Press enter, and it fades in and zooms down. When it leaves, it goes back up and it fades out. So that looks really nice. Now, same as before, if we wanted to, 
we could comment out this one, toast enter to and toast leave from because they just described the default position and opacity of the element when it's on the page. So they're not needed. So I can save this and preview and this is all gonna work the same way. But again, because I want to be explicit, I'm gonna leave them in, okay? Cool. So that's the basic animation for this notification. I would like to make it a little better than this. I'd like to add maybe a little wobble on this when it first enters the screen. And to do that, we're gonna to have to use a custom CSS keyframes animation.